Hi everyone, welcome to this Minecraft tutorial video here on the channel and I've got something pretty simple to show you in this video and that involves these pickaxes I have in my hotbar here. So I've not actually done a video on this before on the channel, I'm not sure why, but what I'm going to be sharing with you is very useful for custom maps and stuff like that. Because what you can actually do in Minecraft is you can actually force an item to have a certain amount of durability on it. So if you give a tool to the player, by default, it will have the same durability depending on what the tool actually is. But these diamond pickaxes I have in my hotbar here only have five durability before they actually break, as you can see right there. So. That diamond pickaxe broke after five uses. So that is not the default durability for this tool. So you can see here, if I remove all of this cobblestone here, both of my diamond pickaxes have been destroyed. So this is very useful for custom maps where you may want to give a tool to the player, which they can, which they can only use for so many times. So that is the main use for this. But um, if you guys do enjoy this video and you learn something new and you want to support the channel, be sure to like, share and subscribe. It'd be very much appreciated. And make sure that you hit the bell so you're notified of new videos here on the channel. Without further ado, let's show you how I actually did this. Now I'm in Minecraft 121.5 and I'm on the Java edition here. I think this is only available for Java edition. And this command has remained unchanged for a lot, a lot of versions of Minecraft. But this command is so simple, I can just show you in game here. And I'm not going to show you in the text editor like I usually do, because this command is not very complex at all. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do slash give as a command. And we're going to do at P, which means the nearest player. We're then going to pick our tool. So in this case, we're going to do diamond underscore pickaxe like this. And then because we're doing a give command, we're going to use square brackets here to set a different data components because we're going to be using the max damage data component in Minecraft. So that is what we're going to be using here. Minecraft colon max underscore damage equals and then you can actually set it to a particular number. So in this case, we're using five, but you can set this to whatever you want. There's probably an upper bound that it can go up to where you can't make it any higher. But in this case, I am doing five, as you can see there. And it looks like a normal diamond pickaxe. It looks like a normal tool, but it is far from a normal tool, as you saw before, because it really does break in that amount of time that you actually set, as you can see right there. Now, one very cool thing about this is that if you set custom durability on an item, if you then try and use an anvil to actually repair it, it actually retains that max amount of durability. So if you use an anvil, it won't just throw your custom durability out the window when you try and actually repair it. So that's another very cool thing about this as well, that it is actually a preset maximum durability on the item you can do with commands here. Now, if you want to find out an item ID you want to use for the command shown in this video here, make sure that you use the F3 and H key on your keyboard to make sure advanced tooltips are shown. If you do that and hover over any tool in the inventory or in the creative menu, it should say in gray what the item ID actually is. So we've got Minecraft colon golden pickaxe and we've got Minecraft colon neverite shovel and so on. So please bear that in mind with this command here. And that's it everyone. Hopefully you found this useful and you could use this in creative projects, custom maps, that sort of thing. If you wanna follow my socials, they're on screen and in the description. And if there's any other tutorials you want me to do, let me know in the comments down below and I may do it for a future video. It may be just general tutorials, command blocks, redstone, or anything related to Minecraft, even Minecraft mods and that sort of thing. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Take care, stay happy and healthy as always, and bye-bye.